I have been listening to this I am for a while and I have burned it in for more than 120 hours and I have no problems in saying that sound rhyme SP01 has to be one of the best one of the best IEMs under $100 and as always conditions applied okay because this is not a very detailed or very resolving kind of IEM it has good amount of details but this IEM can be picked for its warmth okay its warmth and its natural and neutral timber it can sound organic with some filters but with the balanced filter this is nicely balanced okay I will tell you more in depth about the sound quality but before that let's have a look at the cable and the build quality at this point of time I'll say this is a decent cable not a great cable to be precise there is a bit of memory you guys can see and uh, it's a bit unruly too it is not a very uh, compliant kind of cable as you guys can see this is not uh, the most supple kind of cable there is a bit of uh, memory issue and this can feel slightly uh, unruly too in any case this is a decent cable you do not need to upgrade to a, a better cable or anything like that because uh, uh, of its pricing this is a 90 dollar im and until unless you believe you want uh, the optimum uh, out of this im i do not think you need to uh, spend on a better cable because this cable sounds very good now if we look into the ear pieces these are a bit on the dense side okay uh, the earpieces are slightly heavier but uh, you guys can see the nozzle is aptly long there are no issues no bad issues with the fit or anything like that but you guys can see this 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 notch kind of design is kind of uh, bothering this protrusion was not warranted at all I'm not sure if this is uh, adding to the stage or anything like that but uh, this kind of looks and feels odd you can definitely have sound rhyme could have definitely have made this im this earpiece without this this design this does give it a bit of uh, uh, security inside the ear but it kind of feels uh, it kind of presses on the uh, ear at times so that can be an issue uh, the fit is good no problem with the fit but if you want to insert it deeper it will not go deeper into the ear so that is the only issues uh, I can find with this IM when it comes to build quality or else this is a very good sounding very good uh, looking IM even if we start with the sound quality sound rhyme SP01 is a warm and cohesive sounding IM it does not try to deliver a lot of details hence it has literally no extra sharpness or peakiness but if you use the clear filters okay if you use the clear filter how do I AB these filters I am using uh, one clear filter in one earpiece and another uh, warm filter in another earpiece and uh, what I can say is that the clear filter totally dominates the warm filter okay clear filter has bigger area of impact with bass and the treble is elevated the whole spectrum is a bit more forward bit more aggressive with the clear filter and uh, that kind of uh, uh, can feel slightly tiring okay a bit aggressive slightly tiring or else you can say that this is a very good sounding IM no problem there I do find the clear filter to have a bit more treble extension and energy across the treble range. It has that extra bit of transparency, extra bit of aggression that can feel a bit tiring as I said earlier. Now if we talk about the uh, mid range, that is where the clear filter can feel slightly sharp. Okay, There is a bit of sharpness in the finishing region which can, which can be bothering to some but use the balanced filter and that will be uh, cured there will be no issues with that uh, sharpness uh, at all but 
that will definitely reduce the micro details and transparency of the whole spectrum so that is where this is slightly muddly i'll say okay uh, if you want very good clarity you will have to uh, handle that extra bit of sharpness but if you cannot handle that extra bit of sharpness you are compromising on a good amount of transparency and clarity so that is a small problem i see with this rem but if you look at this rem as a warm and uh, uh, cohesive fun sounding musically tuned rem it is a perfect rem under 100 dollars okay it has very good bass as i said the clear filters are uh, with the bigger area of impact but the warm filters are tighter punchier and uh, full sounding okay uh, they have similar amount of rumble but uh, that punchiness is uh, very entertaining very engaging it has good dynamics too i have no complaints about dynamic abilities or anything like that but yes it kind of feels slightly restricted when it comes to uh, hitting multiple uh, frequencies okay it kind of feels slightly monotonous there it does not have that kind of variation to it it is slightly limited when it comes to uh, that in any case the upper bass is very clean mid bass is on par with the uh, sub bass sub bass is very deep into the spectrum i like the rumble and body and everything of this rem strangely the clear filter has bigger area of impact that kind of feels odd while the balanced filter is uh, somewhere in between and i like the balanced filter more with this rem warm filter is a bit too docile uh, can feel a bit too blunt while the clear filter can be slightly sharp but the balanced filter is the perfect uh, filter for this rem and uh, that balances nearly everything of this rem now if we talk about the mid range as i said the clear filter is a bit more on the sharper side they have very good texture very good resolution but the definition is higher okay definition is uh, better with the clear filter while the a balanced filter is somewhere in between uh, clear and uh, warm filter warm filter is blunt as i said early, earlier warm filter is blunt it does not have that kind of transparency or uh, clarity to appreciate the uh, vocals or instruments in this region but uh, the balanced filter is very good very good texture very good calmness very good control and it has that cohesive feeling it has the right amount of cohesion that we look for and the tonality is very organic too it has that emotional feeling to them and that height that extra bit of height it has with those notes is very engaging very very pleasing if we talk about treble that is where things get interesting okay very interesting to emphasize if you use the clear filter it has very good note height a bit more agility and slight bit of crispiness okay uh, which is not present with the balanced filter balanced filter is uh, slightly more poised okay it has that extra bit of juiciness that we all like and there is no sharpness or dryness to it while the clear filter can be slightly dry slightly uh, thin at times no issues with treble extension i'll say but the balanced filter is slightly uh, less energetic in the upper treble region or else it is perfectly fine if we talk about stage stage is where this rem is very good at but it is a tall stage okay it fills up the stage nicely and that kind of feels very engaging that height that movement of the note from bottom to top you can feel that and that kind of feels very very engaging and exciting even it kind of sounds like there is something going on with this rem at every moment okay it does not have a lot of details it cannot engage you with uh, the those micro details and uh, uh, details in between notes that is not exactly great with this rem but what it does is it creates an image that is very engaging it has something happening in the uh, treble region or in vocals that is engaging it does not have any hollow kind of feeling to it and uh, it has that wholesome kind of stage that is very good now 
if I compare it with a few IEMs uh, in this price range, I have been listening to the KZ ZS12 Pro X, I think, uh, ZS12 Pro X, uh, and uh, that is paired with uh, Tripovin RT cable. I, I did felt that that one has, that KZ has slightly better details. I will definitely compare it with a few other IEMs in this price range. Watch out for this space and I will definitely include the KZ ZS12 Pro X in that comparison too. So this is my SP01 standalone review. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day. Enjoy.